Hey everyone, my name is Daniel. Welcome to our YouTube channel, and we are back at you guys with another video. Alright, so let's get started. Today, we have another invention here to show you. This is an attempt of a self-charging generator. At the bottom, we have an electromagnet. We made this so that the electromagnet can be removed quickly and we can install a different electromagnet for testing. We use this part of the invention for the Shake It generator. The only thing that's different about it is that there's a double magnet at the very bottom of the magnet stack. The electromagnet will be able to push up against it. The idea here is to have the timing of the coil to be turned on at just the right time as the stacks of magnets at the absolute bottom where the magnetic energy of the two magnets and the bottom magnet is compressed together. At that point, the stacks of magnets will spring upward by using partially the magnetic energy of the permanent magnet through repulsion and a small current from the battery to energize the coil. It's kind of like pushing a swing at just the right time. The energy will add up together. Now, we will randomly turn the coil on and off manually. If we hit the timing just right, the stacks of permanent magnets will jump up very high. But if the timing is off, the stacks will jump up very little with the same power input. We will use a 12 volt battery for this experiment. For the timing, we are using a reed switch. This is a magnetic switch and cannot handle the collapsing field energy of the coil. It will burn out. We are using a car relay. A smaller current flows through the magnetic switch and turns on the relay, and the relay can handle the higher current that flows in and out of the coil. The relay does use a little bit of electrical energy of its own, but can easily be replaced by a contact switch like this one. This invention has three energies. The energy from the battery energizing the coil, the collapsing field energy coming back out of the coil, and the inductive energy induced in the six generating coils. The idea here is to use the inductive energy here to keep the battery charged and to use the collapsing field energy to keep the LEDs burning. We connected 20 LEDs to the six generating coils. Now we will turn on the electromagnet at the bottom. We disconnected the connections from the generating coils and connected them to the electromagnet to harness the collapsing field energy. This time, we will connect two sets of 20 LEDs each. One set to harness the collapsing field energy and the other set to harness the inductive energy of the circuit at the same time. Here, 
we connected two batteries to be recharged, one with the inductive energy and one with the collapsing field energy. We did some tests and both batteries can be recharged in about 30 minutes. This time, just for fun, we connected two 12 volt batteries in series for a total of 24 volts DC. We just want to see what will happen. If you build a replica of this invention, there's three things to remember. Number one, the reed switch we used can turn the circuit on and off, but cannot control the width of the pulse. Number two, the coils induce between 20 and 30 volts DC, but the battery is only 12 volts DC. Number three, the collapsing field energy is over 100 volts, well, the battery is only 12 volts DC. Obviously, some adjustments have to be made. Thanks for watching, everyone, and make sure to subscribe because we have some really cool videos coming your way. And make sure to check out our online store at www.mindoftesla.com or the link in the description. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, Make sure to hit that like button, and we'll see you next time.